49.5. I can't, yeah, I can change it on Twitch. Shut the fuck up. I'm not doing 49.5 dash interlude.
Hello, everybody, and welcome to your not normally scheduled Thursday night point five session of Known Realms to Lesh. Uh, before we dive into this mini-sode, uh, let's go ahead and introduce the players that are here, starting with David. Yo! Hey guys, I'm David. Um, my pronouns are he, him. I play Whistle, a hobgoblin fighter, also he, him pronouns. And uh, you can catch me and stuff that I'm doing over at Stealthy Elf Productions, where I run two Pathfinder 2E campaigns. Check us out. There's some cool people there. There are. And... Mm -hmm. There are indeed. Thank you for being here, David. Uh, next up, well, last but not least, Button. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Button. I'm one of the people on Stealthy Elf Productions in the campaign Heroes of Hysteria, Unearthed Inheritance. You can also find me in the new year over on Dice Cream Sandwich playing in Astral Academy, the mini campaign. You can find me here on Sundays and also today. And also today. Hell, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, my name is Alec. My pronouns are he, him. You can find me all places on the internet at Tales Archived. Uh, when I'm not here archiving, um, but, 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 known realms to less, you can also find me over at Stealthy Elf Productions playing as Finn Reese, uh, Jotun Blood Fighter and Heroes of Hysteria Unearthed Inheritance. Uh, look out for uh, some new podcast stuff in the new year. We're going to be back with proper Chapter 50 on uh, Sunday, January 7th, 2024. Um, yeah, so we're going to do this one. I think we're set to do another one that tomorrow? we get tomorrow. Well, whatever. Yeah, sure. Is it tomorrow? <laughs> no, no. It's it's <laughs> after the new year. I think it's like January 3rd is what. Uh, Ignore what, me. David doesn't know what the fuck <laughs> he's talking about. Listen, I don't have a life. Um. Okay. So what I want you guys to do. You've been spending the last bit of your evening in the library, uh, in Ishror's castle. Um, you can see the sun is going down. Winter has completely... Uh, winter is in full swing here on, on Tolesh. The uh, bright uh, yellow light of the sun has faded, and there's now this blue and white overcast uh, over the winter, uh, uh, the winter landscape. Um, you see over the the large windows in Ishor's castle that there is no natural light coming through anymore. You see these rows and rows of arcane uh, orbs, much like the ones seen in Narfolk. Uh, these sort of sigil lights uh, expand and ignite in this bright orange light. Um, you can feel as the, the warmth of the space kind of picks up as well uh, as a fireplace uh, toward the end of the library just poof, kicks up of its own will um very very like beauty and the beast coded like this this house is on a schedule and it knows it quite well um you guys tell me what your last little bit in the library looks like we're gonna start with a whistle i think uh after taking some time to review the divanthier tome yep uh, putting it away in the secret chest. Whistle's going to make his way over to the window and just look at the sunset. Um, imagine doesn't hasn't seen too many winter sunsets um, out on... No, uh, you, yeah. grew, you grew up on the ocean. There's not a lot mm -hmm. of... You're not really hitting those uh, those beautiful winter mm -hmm. sunsets. There, there was one time where you were close, uh, and this was in your, your youth. Um, you're... You didn't call them parents, but they they were about what those were at that point in your life. And uh, you came close enough to the Drukameshian shoreline near Kalmont, uh, enough to see the sun fully risen, but uh, the the beginning of what was a, a beautiful winter's morning uh, in, a, in a seaside town. So yeah, he's going to just hang up by the window and just kind of take in that. Okay. You see how fun reading is? I quite like reading. Ah, we could do that exclusively. Maybe one day. Today. Oh. Today is one day. Yes, but... 
I suppose you're right. Because we should enjoy today, days like today. We can read. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. What did you uh, think of the material? Yes, he would have gone through like the divan theater tome. He would have <coughs> hit. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Made, made weapon, like obvious and stuff. I think it's a lot to unpack. I think it's um. It's an entire history encapsulated in leather and parchment. I I think I need more than an hour to really decide what I think about it. But I, for now, I'm, I think I'm terrified at the potential. Especially seeing the situation that you and I have found ourselves in. Nikolai... This, this, this is in our head, Yeah. right? This isn't allowed. Okay. If you want to choose to speak outwardly, you can, but... No, I think for right now, we'll keep it inward. And he's going to... Like, eyes just locked on that, like, golden line. What did you uh, think of Isradon's proposition? Do you want me to be nice, or do you want me to be truthful? Truthful. I think she played you like a fiddle. And I think she did so gleefully. Yes. Which... is terrifying. But... we understand that what Lord Tarvish did was... well, was not sanctioned. I worry of what her future plans may be, but I do think for now, it, having her settled, at least it gets her out of ours, and by ours I mean all of ours, all of our hair, and my pummel. Strokes the pommel. Don't. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not the time. Not the, not the tone, not the time. Absolutely not. <laughs> These, um, missions that she's proposed. Uh, yes, the, ki the, the kill list that she handed to you. <laughs> well, I just want you to know I won't use you for anything like that. Thank That's you. not your burden to bear. Thank you. You and Nikolai continue to watch the sunset until this bright red orange sun falls hidden behind the Wavern Peaks. And we will move over to Echinacea. What is the last little bit of your library time looking like? Um Echinacea will with the star dragons, they know that Eos is the first star dragon, correct? Correct. Yep. They're going to cross-reference uh, stories of Eos with the birth of the Celestial Veil and the story of the Phoenix in mm. that tale, which is spelled E-O-S. Oh, shit. That's, a, a my, that's my bet. Oh, it okay. Is, it's supposed to be uh, My ass was like, e they're the same. They, um, are, they are the same. <laughs> they are the oh, same. Oh, Eos okay. the Phoenix. No, no. Yeah. You were correct about that. that you're correct that both names are supposed to be spelled differently. You you are right in your red string theory. I got confused. I am right in my red string theory that they are the same? Correct. Because Eos is depicted as a phoenix. Eos the first dragon is depicted as a phoenix. Because you're talking about Eos the phoenix in the in the story. I'm saying that there are two entities named Eos. One is the star dragon who created the world. The second is Eos the Phoenix who created the Celestial Veil. Correct. Those are the... They're trying to figure out if those are the same. Go ahead and give me an investigation check. Okay. <laughs> that was such a who's on first. I'm like, I want to know if they are. <laughs> um, math 12 plus. We leveled up. Where are we? Uh, 25. 
25. Um, you're cross-referencing the book on the, uh, the Star Dragons, and you are reading stories of similar celestial phenomena to the uh, celestial veil depicted in the myth of, of Eos and that first, um, that first depiction on Aosha, or that first occurrence on Aosha. Um, the more you read, uh, you find that the the effects of these, uh, well, it's, it's called the, um, uh, uh, in the, the book about the star dragons, um, it is specifically called the, um, uh, the sky shed. So it, it, it is depicted as a shedding of scales that sort of leaves this celestial trail of, of glittering like stardust um when it comes to the myth of eos it, it uh, the phoenix it, it is very much uh seen as that that residuum residue that comes off of phoenixes as they sort of emit magical energy um you're finding a correlation between the abilities you're finding a big correlation between the personalities of these individuals uh, and you are finding a correlation between uh the abilities of both the sky shed and the celestial veil, uh, which is it, um, it is able to be the source of guidance for those lost. Uh, and it brings war and it brings protection. Um, two's a, two's a coincidence and three is uh three is a pattern here. So you with that 25, you are absolutely, yeah, these, I think are the same entity because you and you're aware dragons you would imagine the first like the progenitor dragon would be the same has an ability to shape shift into anything um, much like constellations take on the shape of anything dragons are able to shift or, or polymorph in a sense into other beings you more free most frequently in this age they take on the visage of humanoids uh, elves dwarves hobgoblins whatnot but um, in the star dragon book which begins to kind of break down into books because you have the cult bestiary uh, there are uh, there are isolated stories of um, a group of dragons turning into a pack of wolves or a, a huddle of buffalo to like move safely through areas when dragons were not seen as intelligent creatures and they were hunted for sport. Um, so you're, yeah, you're absolutely coming with the information or w coming to the conclusion that these are the same entity. Whoop. I can't hear you. I think my system did a thing real quick. One second, sorry. Uh... Okay. I can hear you guys now. Okay. You no, know, hi, hi. Yeah, I got it. Uh, what were you saying? Sorry. The question becomes whether or not dragons could have once reincarnated. And they think about the hill, the kiln of hollows. Mm -hmm. And I think the theory that starts to formulate in their mind is that perhaps Eos gave up his ability to reincarnate in order to give life to the world. But they're not certain. They close the text. And then they join Whistle at the window. You know, there's a story of a phoenix named Eos. Who created the Celestial Veil. You can see it in this region of Shanthir at night sometimes. It used to be entirely dark here. Phoenix came to the aid of a little druid girl who is brave enough to bring her father medicine. And he lit the night sky for her. But those who try to save others will always have a path. Uh, 
Both of you give me a perception check, please. So it's like looking at the sky, but I'll say doesn't expect to see me. Five. <laughs> oh no. Fourteen. Lucky for you guys, it's not difficult to miss. As you see over the Wavering Peaks, this almost burst of starlight. It looks as if a star becomes a firework at first. This illumination of bright reds and oranges and radiant yellows just begin to ignite over the sky and you can see for a moment it is this it almost looks as if it's day again um, but then the light begins to settle and it becomes this dim and gentle glow um and you see down on the ground i'll say whistle you're the one that catches this echinacea with a five you do not um you see a group of uh, what look to be uh, travelers carrying uh, heavy sacks with um, a wagon behind them with a, a few bison sort of trudging forward through the snow. And you see they look upward and just you can sense and see that there is like this this sense of relief uh, that kind of washes over the travelers as they continue to move forward. I wish you all well. Safe travel. And he kind of points down to the to the the travelers below. Oh. You know, I'm I'm quite in awe at the things you seem to know, Doctor Belros. Oh. Well, you know, I I I got locked in a tower for a long time, and all I could do was read. <laughs> in a tower yes um <laughs> I I was taken a prisoner by the Magus Arcanum and well after um after the solitary confinement I was allowed to live with Casimir um in his tower and he let me read his books Seems, uh, but he was your captor still, Casimir. Yes, but he's different. He is, um, he's, he's working on being a good man. You don't seem convinced. A lot of people who, whose minds I respect don't seem convinced, but I know that he's trying. He just, he, he has a lot to overcome and they will <laughs> give uh, Whistle the cliff notes of like, this man was the premier torturer of the Sunwall Academy, changed sides for the Magus Arcanum. Uh, Echinacea got framed for his husband's murder. Um, through Echinacea in solitary confinement for a month, uh, figured out um, entering Echinacea's mind. Um, that I, uh, the memory of killing Valor was implanted in my brain by Coliata, and I, I didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't, I didn't do it. And so once he knew that, then he started to try to make it right. And he doesn't work for the Arcanum anymore, and and he gave us the humble abode, and, and he loves me. Well, I don't claim to be any authority on what is good and evil, or right and wrong. If you believe that he's right, then I think that's the important thing. Isn't it? And we know he's trying. Aidwolf says comforting, comfortingly in your, your mind, Echinacea. Um, you see for a moment as they are um, maintaining the new images that have popped up in the, uh, the Hall of Memories. He's sort of making sure all the frames are 
uh, up proper. He's um, putting up some decorations of his own little seating tables. And uh, you, you see him uh, face still a bit obfuscated, but the form is becoming a bit more solid. Um, he, he looks to you in the moment. And he just says, if you, you believe in me, I want to believe in him and Casimir. Echinacea will say both aloud and to aid Wolf. Even if someone doesn't always do right, I think intent is what matters. And I do believe he's trying. And that's enough for me. If it's enough for you, who am I to say otherwise? Shoots you a wink and starts getting back to work. I think Whistle, like, looks looks intently at you, Echinacea, and then kind of looks back down to the the group, the caravan walking, and he goes, I've been wondering, ever since Lord Tavish, I used to think that I don't know the difference between right and wrong. But yesterday, I knew he was wrong. And I believed that taking his life was the right thing to do. Are you upset for... I'm sorry. No, please go ahead. Do you think I should have tried to? That you should have tried to kill him? No. I don't think... is different than killing. But is that fair? That doesn't seem fair to you. I, I don't think it's a matter of fair or unfair. I think we are all uh, we are all individuals. We all have our own paths. And if I'm honest, I do believe your path to be the right one. What about your path? My path was chosen for me. By whom? So, I'm a soldier. I was raised to be a soldier. And when it comes to the path of taking lives, where I come from, there is no other path. That's how you survive. I would wish for you the freedom to choose your own path. an option anymore. While we are living, we have the freedom to choose. Barring 
the enchantments of rural entities, we are able to choose. What if, in choosing a new path, we bring consequences? Not just to ourselves, but those around us. All choices Whistle. have consequences. Every choice has a consequence, though. Surely choosing to stay a soldier has consequences of its own. And I'm not telling you not to do that. I don't know what the right... I don't mean to insinuate you're telling me what to do. I'm just... that my decision to betray the Iron Legionnaires, it will bring more mayhem to us. And that is a consequence of choosing to walk a different path. It may. But... Those consequences feel a bit lighter when you walk with people who choose to stand by you in spite of them. I... I understand, I think, what you're experiencing, Whistle. Kalen sort of stands, mm -hmm. uh, steps forward. When I left home... I spent the first month on that boat wondering if it was going to be worth it. Shit. I spent up to my 80th year wondering if it was going to be worth it. I kept my... I kept my lineage secret from two people that I traveled with for almost three years. Until I met them. And I learned that day that if consequences were to come, I am forever lucky that I am surrounded by people that will meet those consequences with me. And what I can tell you now is, if those consequences come for you, I am here. I think Whistle... Like clenches the jaw hard and I think he's he holds on to the pommel of the dagger and there's just I think those words are, are those are deeply meaning that, that deeply resonates with him and I think he's kind of clears his throat and before he talks but I think you know there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of worry in his voice when he responds and he's just just I don't believe it's fair or that it's not fair to you all to bring that kind of danger Whistle we don't know what Isradon wants to do with that book what if it's dangerous? What if there are consequences to untold numbers of people? Zio's family in the Scorched Isle. What if you choosing that path to take that book? What if you saved people? From what I understand, You being a soldier already had consequences. Being in that path had consequences. So? We're all still here. And I know I said it earlier today, but we all have big old targets on our backs. We we all invite danger. We, we 
really are. The Arcanum is very bad. Um, to the people it doesn't like. Whistle. Yes. Please, yes. go ahead and give me a history check. Ooh. I'm good at histories. I thought I was good at histories. That's a 17. No. <laughs> a 17? Yeah. That's good. What the fuck are you Average talking goal. about? It was a 10. No, a 10. A, oh, well, okay. But the outcome is not average. Um, Luckily, I'm good at histories. <laughs> you, you spent the bulk of your life between your 20s and your 30s sailing mm -hmm. at sea. And um, your life, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you move from job to job to job to job to job. There's not a lot of time to sit and think about the one before. Yep. Uh, one comes back to you. A few do, actually. Izardan was incredibly interested in uh, Magus Arcanum ships mm -hmm. that were sailing between Alden Gate and Drukamesh. They were... Well, it's funny to think about it now. They were uh, they were exporting Divanthir technology to Alden Gate, mm. and you were a bit more ruthless back then. Mm -hmm. You had killed a fair amount of mages in that time about two or three years after the fact you were sitting on your boat reminiscing on uh, a job well done as the few moments of respite you have on your ship after a job or just you're drinking and then it's right back to it you remember taking the life of an elven mage and you said you got a 17 mm-hmm um, doo -doo 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 -doo. This elven mage uh, was a winter ladron, a uh, person named Lesvire, L E S V Y R E, Larethian. And what you remember about this person is that they were near the apex of what the Magus Arcanum holds for power, the Major Arcana. You trifled with magic that day, and you did so openly. So, back on your boat celebrating, you felt a, a deep pain in your head as you heard Whistle. The Major Arcana has our eye on you and we will collect our blood debt. It is owed. I've seen your future. And I know that you will have exactly what we need to ascend. And that's what you remember. So it is clear to you now that similar to Echinacea, the Major Arcana, the Magus Arcanum, has their eyes on you. Mm. You in this moment talking about consequences and the unfairness of sharing a burden. You look at somebody who shares the same burden as you. The glaring eye of this watchful organization of mages. think as the memory kind of trickles into his mind there's kind of a he he shifts a little bit to a slightly mirthless chuckle uh, and he goes to, he looks at echinacea and says well full disclosure <laughs> we might have some of the same enemies some asshole named the Major Arcana said so they had their eye after me, but, uh... <laughs> it's like it's just going, <laughs> no! What? It's an old memory. I'm never really worried about it until, uh... 
until your story just now. Why? Why? Uh, why? Why did they? What? Why? What? Well, the the major arcana? Uh, yeah. Remind me the name. I, I have the last name Larithian, but I Les- really butchered the first name. Lesvire. Lesvire. In my youth, uh, I uh, we intercepted a boat, a ship. Between Drukamesh and Olden Gate. And on it, there was one, uh, one major thought quite highly of himself. But, uh, get old. <laughs> Less vile Lurethian. I, uh, did what had to be done, did what I was commanded to. Afterwards, Seems I uh, drew the attention of some unwanted individuals, of, well, of some powerful individuals. But their threats, thus far at least, have been empty. It just tickled my memory, is all. Um. You watch Echinacea's face fall. As you say, Larethian. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. I'm okay. Um, Lorian is a Larethian. You said less fire? Yes. Uh, Lorethian is very popular elven surname. Yes, it's the progenitors. Which means it's... It's Kerbaths. Yes. But what I'm saying is... Some elven entities, people take it on... Associate themselves with divinity. To... Get ahead. So they'll abandon a prior surname and take on Lorethian. Oh! Well, okay. Um, you watch Echinacea try to be relieved, but ultimately, like, I think it doesn't Hearing about death, whether or not it's actually, like, oh, yeah. someone related to a loved one or not, I think that they are, um, it's immaterial to them, and they're, like, trying to find solace in it. Um, well, yes, well, okay, okay, so, so, okay, yes, so the facts as we know them are that this person died and the major arcana they if they I feel like if they had it out for you if they wanted you dead you would be dead I move with uh, pretty dangerous people Whistle did did you recount what was said to you um by Isrodon no by the entity who spoke in your mind Oh, um, I think seeing Echinacea's reaction, uh, yeah, it'll spur him to like recite it specifically, but I don't think he's ever put any stock into it before, you know, just personally. Um, so yeah, he will recount uh, the threat that was levied verbatim. Lucian just kind of says, well, maybe they don't need to capitalize on that yet. Well, good thing I made this. <laughs> Throws you an amulet. And catches it. I didn't get to give you your present in the abode. 
So, enjoy. Uh, you can add an amulet of non-detection onto your character sheet. You. Oh. I was making it when you came by because I just didn't fucking trust you. But. Smart. Smart thing to do. Right. Knowing that the Magus Arcanum is on your ass, as well as a fucking dragon, seems like a smart thing to have. Speaking of that dragon, uh, you should know. And he's going to just kind of look to the group here. Um, his down contact contacted me earlier today. And he kind of... He looks like he's about to gesture towards the tattoo on his back, but thinks better of it. Um, and he'll yeah, say, um, there's an opportunity to uh, get them off our backs for a bit. Oh. Well, well, that's, that's good, yes? Conditions. These were done. Negotiated for a place for the Iron Legionnaires to hold up since having lost their ship, which I am quite responsible for. So. So I was thinking, perhaps, of offering them Cyberholm in return. They'll at least leave us alone for some time. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, man. Um. I feel like that's something we should talk to everyone about. Oh my goodness, that... Is the alternative that she comes and tries to kill us? Yes. Or... Send someone that makes Lord Tavish the shitty Yili was. some time between the battle at Saivalm and confirming with Isradan, but that's at least what we have for now is time, not much, which makes me wonder, kind of gestures the pommel of the dagger towards you, Echinacea. It's probably a good idea to get you thinking about how to keep yourself alive in a fight. Should the unfortunate reoccur. I've been wanting to get better. I'm... Yes. was very defensive. It wasn't even defensive. I was trying to get us to be able to run away. I think you're right that I should try to stand and fight. In your situation, at least as I remember it, you did probably the best thing you could for yourself and Lazuli. Tavish is cruel and underhanded. I would like to prepare to meet cruelty and underhandedness with capability on my end. Um, I've done my fair share of cruel and underhanded things, so I have somewhat of an authority to help you teach, to help you learn. <laughs> well, 
There's a silver lining in that, I suppose. I, um... My intention... Going forward... Is to do what I can to help you and the rest of the party succeed. I believe in your path. I believe in your path for the future. And I'd like to do what I can to make sure that that is the path the rest of the world can take. Or that it's at least available to them. Well, you said it back at my cottage. That we're family, and so our paths are intertwined. And I think if you facilitate a path, you're, you're a part of why it comes to fruition. Even if you don't claim it for yourself. Thank you. And I think that leaves him with a bit of things to chew on, but he'll kind of stand up and stretch and say, We won't have a lot of light left, but perhaps we can find somewhere with a little bit of space. I don't think Ishra would appreciate us hiding in his library. No, probably not. That will take hours of mending to fix. And I've seen you throw lightning bolts. <laughs> I can do that. Yes, I can do that. Let's see if we can't find somewhere a bit more spacious. All right. You know, I remember a spot. All right. And you guys uh, make your way outside to go and prepare your spar, and we're going to take a break there. Cool, cool. All right. Be back Bye. Soon.
Well, you can see and hear you. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Sorry about that. Tech is a bitch. And so am I. Uh, <laughs> we <laughs> we pick up in the... No. <laughs> uh, we pick up in the field. <laughs> you, you guys have had your conversation, and uh, you, you have ventured outside of Ishror's... Um, you make it out to this beautiful snowy field. Uh, the winter air is, is cold and quite cold and chilly, some would say, uh, as the snow is gently falling and kind of battering it. I did that on purpose. I'm not actually having a snow. I know you did. <laughs> um, sometimes you guys aren't sure. And I'm like, am I okay? Um, but you guys have walked out and Lucian is kind of... Uh, <laughs> so what's the plan? <laughs> He's fucking like he's having a hard time. He's he's cold. Oh. Yeah, well. Kind of... hmm, I'm there. Echinacea's mimicking whistle, but they don't really know what they're doing. Yeah, he's kind of like stretching. Yeah. No, no, really. What is the plan? We... I think it's to fight me and see. I need to figure out how to manage. All three of us fighting you. Oh. <clears throat> it's cold, sorry. It's fucking, <laughs> it's, it's fucking nippy. It's pretty nippy. Colder um, than a witch's tit out here. <laughs> don't talk about witches like that. They can hear you. <laughs> Perhaps we do. 2v2. 2 versus 2. Well, uh, this is this is the tea check in Asia, so I say we leave it to them. Oh man, <laughs> I do want to see Whistle and Lucian work together, but I think that's just me being mean. <laughs> but don't touch me. <laughs> Pretends he didn't start touching you. But he's just like it is warm. <laughs> this is unfortunate. <laughs> well, okay, so that would put you and Wasil against Second Age and I. I'm, I'm good with that. Would we like to place bets? <laughs> There's just like un, uh, a confidence in Kalen that doesn't come out very often, yeah. um, but he's feeling it. It's weird. He's like dogging Lucian. He's like, <laughs> Lucian's like, oh, fine. Mm. Dishes at the at the abode. I'll add to that. Dishes in the abode and you don't have to be nice to me. Oh, stop picking on me. <laughs> But Lucian, need, we can just stop picking on you. I just need one day. No, because everybody has fun, and I do like it, but I just want... I'm sure that halfway through the day I'll say, Oh, this sucks. Just continue to be assholes to me. When's your birthday? I'm not... We are not there yet. I'm just saying, isn't that enough? No, yeah. It, it would be... Mm, yes. <laughs> yes, all right. Deal. <laughs> Kaylin's like, deal. Dishes and be nice to lose him? Oh, I could never. All right. I Swords out in the middle. <laughs> it's a dagger. Mine too. <laughs> <laughs> We're very close. Lucian <laughs> draws his rapier. Oh. And Kaylin. <laughs> yeah, Truth Seeker. Kaylin pulls out True Seeker, which, um, yeah. <gasps> Whistle and Lucian are seeing it for the first time. Uh, this beautiful, a very thin, almost uh, akin to like a fencing sword, but it, it, it is quite literally a longsword um, inlaid with this amethyst and uh, sapphire. You see writ etched in common. Uh, you get catch glimpses. Both of you are very intelligent men uh, of like uh, stories of a childhood, a, a sailing trip to Tolesh, and you're understanding this is a story of Kalen. Um, okay. I would like you guys to roll me initiative. Now we get the fun combat music. Now with yes. my new alert feat, it's a plus 10. Damn, I rolled a 12. 
26. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lucian. Lucian. Okay. And then uh, there's Caitlin. Did they? Did you both roll 14s? That's crazy. Lucian's oh. probably more dexterous. Uh, yes. Um. Um. Okay. Uh, 15. Are you position on the map? Like uh, yep, range. you guys can set yourselves up where you want to go. I will say, Echinacea, where are you? Are you staying right there? <laughs> no. Okay, Kalen's going to be right. He's, he's going to take a forward position uh, protecting. Um, okay. 20 to 25. Uh, hi. Oh, wait. 20 to 25? No. Over uh, 25? 25 to f or 20 to 15. No, he, um, got, he gets 26. I got more than 25. Jesus Christ. Whistle. All right, uh, 20, to, 20 to 15. Okay, Lucian got a 19. Uh, Echinacea? 12. Okay, you didn't do much better than Kalen, so then it's Kalen and Echinacea. All right, so oh, Whistle, you are up with Lucian on deck and Kalen after the fact. Echinacea, you end the round. Okay. Uh, Whistle's going to reach for the dagger, and as he does so, he's going to just quickly mind palace over to Nikolai for a little bit of fun. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if it's going to be the same fun you think it is. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he's going to draw, and he's going to, with the same motion, throw uh, the dagger out towards Echinacea, and I'm going to, going to whistle to activate the oath bow. And I'm going to des designate Echinacea as my uh, my enemy. All right. Um. Okay. Let's see if Nikolai cooperates, though. <laughs> go go ahead, for it. Come on, Nikolai. Go ahead and make your attack roll. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, then with oath bow, it's at advantage, too, and it ignores cover. Okay. So oh, I, yep. Right. What'd you roll? A, with advantage, that is a 22. I need you to subtract 5. Okay. Uh, that the, would be... Is, <laughs> no, oh, that'd be the other roll, a 17. Okay. <laughs> uh, does 17 hit your armor class? No. That's so rude. Come on. <laughs> he's laughing. Give it to him. He's having yeah, such a great no, no, no. time. Uh, 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 that was fun. Yeah, he, he whistled throws Nikolai out, and I imagine... Does he just hover there in the air? <laughs> he, he thinks he's cool. Yeah, you see as like the back end of the ruby starts to like flicker as it goes, and the dagger just hits the ground. Bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then he's going to... Oh, well, I'll take the second attack. He's going to throw an axe at Lucian. Lucian, he's on your team! <laughs> on your Sorry, team. fuck. Uh, <laughs> Well, I, I announce it. I announce what it is. No. no. Um, it's a Kalen. Um, okay. It's gonna be, that's going to be uh, 23 minus 5 or 17. Uh, or no, yeah, 18. Actually, no, it, it's not minus 5 on Kalen. <laughs> no, no, no. Minus 5 because a uh, uh, sharpshooter. Oh, so 18 does not yep. hit. Okay. Um, it is a light weapon, though, and so it does come back to my hand. Yep. Drone weapon master. Okay. Um, so yeah, throws the hand axe out of Kalen, and it eventually just bounces off his sword, and he just plucks it back up. All right. Uh, oh. Movement, tuck around. You're this right. Side. I am having a very good time. Uh, and then last thing will be bonus action to activate the animated shield. He's going to kind of do another whistle, um, and the uh, animated shield from Lord Tarvish kind of uh, comes out from around his back, and it's just like a metal round shield. Um, just a disc of metal. Um, and I think on the inside, it's got uh, a very kind of gothic uh, pattern and kind of coming out from the center. Mm. Very so kind cool. Of, it kind of turns into, as he kind of holds it up, the disc just kind of kind of comes out and fills out. Hell yeah. Just rad as rad as hell. Um, okay. Lucien is going to use his bonus action to hide. Boy. Uh, okay. I need perception checks from Echinacea, Whistle, and Kalen, please. Mm -hmm. 
these ones. 18. I'm going to hop over to skills. One second. Lucian, no. <laughs> Oh, not great. Oh, hang on. That is oh, actually good. No, he's 20. Got, never mind. He's got yeah. A, he's got advantage. Well, um, sorry. What were the, what did you guys get? I got a 20. 18. 2018. Echinacea, you do not see West. Uh, you do not see Lucian. Um, let's see if Kaylin does. Oh, shit. Kalen does not. So Lucien is hidden. Um, he is going to. I'm going to say. He's going to use his action to dash. Get here. He's tucked behind this rock. <laughs> staring at the good doctor. All right. But I don't know that. You don't know that. Uh, it is Kalen's turn. This is going to get so stupid. I apologize in advance. No, don't. <laughs> don't apologize. Um, it's stupid. Did I? Bitch, it's stupid. He, he go for the whiskey rock. Yeah, he is. He's going to cast his first True Seeker spell, which is Zephyr Strike. Um, so, uh, you see as, um, Lucian takes, or Lucian, Kalen takes the, um, the pommel of his, his new sword, touches it to his forehead, and you see as a full moon of constellation forms, uh, as you can see these, uh, forms of stars sort of surround where his joints are as he begins to move very quickly um Damn. and he is going to get he's actually gonna go right here no he's gonna go right here uh well, right yeah keep going do your thing why are you yelling at me not <laughs> you fucked my plan but do your thing oh, i'm so sorry i was gonna buff Walk away. Damn. <laughs> uh, and he is going to cast Sacred Flame at Whistle. You bitch. So I need Why do you move up? Okay. No, I'll, 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 I'll no, have leave him. him. No, leave him. No, leave him. Leave him. Leave him. I already took leave him. Back. him. I already took him back. <laughs> Shut up. Sacred Flame on Whistle. Make a deck save. You got it, boss. Don't yell at me for doing a thing and then not doing a thing. You know what I mean? Be happy about something, please. Oh no, whistle, why? Uh, it's an 11. That is a failure against uh, Kaelin's spell save DC. You are going to take uh, eight points of radiant damage. And um, uh, da -da -da -da, you gain no benefit from cover. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Um, but you see as uh, a, a wreathed crown of uh, stars connects above Whistle's head. He's, uh, he's visible. Oh, that looks so ah. nice. Um, okay. Swats at them. <laughs> and yeah, Kalen, I think just for flavor, just kind of puts a shield up. And uh, you see as he takes on this very regal stance as his uh, the flat of the blade sort of sits atop the shield, almost in a very Spartan-esque kind of fashion. Um, mm. All right. Echinacea, you're up. Whistle, you're on deck. All right, Echinacea runs here. <laughs> it says, all right, Aidwolf, we've never done this before. And they're going to press their fingertips hmm. together. Their fingers become black at the edges as they're going to twin spell for the first time. And they're casting great in greater invisibility on themselves and Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, hey guys, it's been real. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um, um, yeah. And then they're going to do their invisible, but they drop a weaves mend on Kalen. Okay. Um, so so, so no one can see. There's something invisible uh, floating over invisible Kalen. Damn. 
and then they're going to use their remaining 15 feet of movement. They cannot see Lucian, so they're going to 5, 10, 15, just start running up this way. <laughs> Lucian in his turn. head goes, fuck. <laughs> uh, whistle. Mimicked whistles. <laughs> it's your turn. You look. You kind of uh, are distracted by this crown of stars <laughs> above your head. <laughs> And uh, you look up, Akinesha and Kaelin are fucking gone. Um, Whistle is going to uh, quickly do a little whistling ditty um, as he kind of plucks out one of the feathers from his cloak and does it to his cloak. Um, wings sprout from the cloak, so flying's up. Um, let's see, though. My oath bow. Is it let me know where Echinacea is? Hang on. Uh, Echinacea is currently my sworn enemy. So you might be able to see me. No, I don't think I can see you. you. you I think as long as you're know. on the planet or something, I can. I, you. I can kind of know the direction. Yeah, you're. you get a general oh. sense of where they are. Yeah. Oh no! Hang on. Oh no! No, that's if the attack hits. Never mind. I was gonna say. Becomes your sworn enemy until he dies for the next seven days. So for the next week, you're my sworn enemy. Um, <laughs> right, you can just, Jesus. Deck roll. No, no, I don't know where you are. Um, just no benefit from cover or total cover. And no disadvantage due to long range. Okay. Um, okay, wings are up. Then um, he's going to, I think, just use... I think he's just going to fly. He's going to go flying up. Okay. How far? As far as I know. Um, action to the wing movement and then bonus action um i don't know where lucian is do i need to know where lucian is to target him with gift would you say uh yes absolutely okay then yeah i'm just gonna just gonna fly up uh, wait did you roll it did you roll a perception check to see him i did a 20 yeah oh you see him okay um I don't know yeah I'm so you know. you know where he okay. is okay never mind i'm just gonna i'm just gonna fly up he's just okay. gonna fly up that's fine yeah all right, you fly up. Uh, 60 feet. 60 feet, got it. Okay. Um, it is Lucian's turn, and he is going to rely on his keen senses. He does not have to see Kalen. All he has to do is smell him. Um, Damn, so forgot he, about that. Yeah. <laughs> he moves right behind Kalen, and unfortunately... It's going to get that sneak attack. Um, Kalen or Lucian is going to. Oh, do I want to be mean? Be mean. He's going to green flame blade here. Be the mean. Um, so, uh, Echinacea, you see immediately as this roar of red flame c juts out from the back of Lucian's rapier as it coats the entirety of the blade as he pierces forward and the veil of invisibility that Luci or that Kaelin was in completely fades. It's greater invisibility. Oh, that's true. But he hits Kaelin uh, anyway. Whoop. The defensive dome. Fuck you. Okay. Um, well, is the dome visible? The dome is. It visible. is. Yeah. So you you I, you got a pretty good read of where Kalen is now at any given yeah, point. Yeah, you got a pretty solid um, notion yeah. of where he is. Okay. Uh, so the uh, for the attack we're gonna do. That is fourteen base damage. But it okay. I eat that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm letting you know what you eat. So just let me let me do my mathies. Oh, man. Sneak attack. Oh, it's 5d6? Oh, boy, level 9. Is it 20? No, he's level 10, Lucian. Never mind, my boy, level 10. 22. <laughs> God, here I am and treat him like a kid. Dude's got a level on me already. <laughs> I have to, to reevaluate uh, my roll 34 play. 34 points of sneak attack damage, and uh, there's a d8, uh, 5 fire damage. Okay, so that was so 30, 34 total. 39 altogether. 39 altogether, so Kalen takes nine damage. Okay. <sighs> Damn, okay. listen, when when Lucian's working, he's a working. Um, 
<laughs> and he he just kind of he's like, oh shit, I got him! <laughs> but he completely reveals his position, uh, and Kalen's like, you got me. <laughs> All right, and that is Lucian's turn. Uh, I'm gonna roll concentration. I have to hit. Well, no, actually, he only took nine. Uh, yeah, he maintains concentration as. On Kalen's bonus action, he uses Steps of the Night for the first time. Um, Echinacea, you're the only person that can see this uh, because you cast Greater Invisibility. Um, but you see as the moon atop Kalen's forehead spreads outwards and creates uh, these sort of uh, wrapper, uh, they create a constellation around his feet as he begins to take a step upward. And given um, Zephyr Strike, he does not take attacks of opportunity. Um, so he moves upward and uh, he goes up about, th uh, he goes up his full 30 feet and he looks up at Whistle. Hi. And he casts Hi. Guiding Bolt. With a natural one. Hate to yeah, he it. does. For a 12. <laughs> you see this spell coming out of nowhere. He dodges. Uh, and you're... Yep. Yeah. And he's like, shit. <laughs> action, bonus action. Um, that is Kalen's turn. Echinacea. Okay. <sighs> uh, the first thing's first. I'm going to dispel the dome. Uh, so I need a save from Lucian. It's Dex. He'll probably make it. Well, no, he flew up, right? No, Kalen did. Kalen did, yeah. Lu yeah. Oh, but... how high is no. Kalen? He's 30 feet. I gotta read one second. I think. Never it... mind. I'm not dispelling the dome. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Um. I will say, so the dome is, hold on, the dome is on Kaelin. Yes. So Kaelin is visible. Yes. I am dispelling the dome. It's just that no one's taking the damage. Um, so you disappear. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, and then Echinacea is going to move. Are going to. Like, and you are still invisible, like, correct? Yeah, they are still invisible. Um, they're going to. Was it 5, 10, 15, 20? Uh, no, they really want to. Where was I? I was here? Uh, or here? No. Uh, you were, I think, you were like, like right here. here. 10, 10 feet ahead Where of Where the fuck was I? Where? There? Where are you trying to go? I want to get to this side of Lucian. I just don't. I I'm tried sure to do the thing right here. So you can get here. Or if you move, you can do that. I yeah, can, but I'll go. I'll, yeah. I'll enter his space. That's fine. But well, he can't see you, so he's not going to provoke an attack of opportunity anyway. No, but he's gonna uh, learn. Um, if you I don't like that, <laughs> I cast lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need a deck save from Whistle and both. Lucian. Yeah, both of us. Yeah. Uh, it's, gonna pretty... <laughs> it's gonna have a pretty good idea of what direction I'm in. <laughs> he is going to no. use. Uh... Uncanny dodge. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm... Because he got a critical failure, which means he takes double damage. Yeah, I'm going to... Did you as well? Port... Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I would have failed, so I'm going to port and die that, and I'm going to swap You're so out fuzzy, that. You're David. Yeah, what the hell? Sorry. Um, Get really close here. again. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, it's mad at you. Um, I'll mess with you. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to sub out that with the port and die. Uh, so it was a seven on the dice. I'm going to sub that out for my 18. So 18 plus five for a 20. That succeeds. Uh, you're going to take half of 39. Uh, it, you know, Lucian is going to take the flat 39 because he got a critical failure. So he's going oh. to take the max damage. Now, okay. I just want to, I just want to quick check something here. Uh huh. If we're going from the angle, yeah, it would hit. You see it, yeah, because I'm sixty feet, so it's like a, it's a oh, hypotenuse. I thought, <laughs> my ass thought you were on the ground. Wait, no, so no. where is everyone numerically? I'm up sixty on feet. on the ground. Thirty. It's literally a perfect line on the ground. Yeah. thirty feet, sixty feet. But if that if Kalen's at thirty feet, then I will miss him because past Lucian's just fifteen feet. It's not going up and then at whistle, right? I'm. If Kalen I'm were, high. if Kalen were here and at thirty feet, then I would hit him. Yeah, because oh, oh, I'm, really I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, that's, that'd be the midpoint. That makes sense. You, you, yep, you're on it. Okay. Yeah, Kalen's above it by fifty. Cool. Feet. Yep. All right. Never mind. Um, so Lucian is just about bloodied. Uh. Oh, um, he went from on, so I was a save. to 64 real fast. Uh, so it was 39 halved to 19? Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to bonus action. Where are you? Um, oh, actually, there's already a Weaves Mend on Kaylin, so I'm just going to roll that. Um, eh. Kaylin heals 10. Okay. That's greater my turn. Invis, right? So you're not revealed, right? That's correct. Greater, greater invisibility. Okay. Um, Although wait. I could get whacked here real soon and that could drop. Whistle, you're up with Lucian on deck. Uh, whistle's going to... Line of Kayla. Or off the line of Kayla. What was that? 60. I'm going to go to You're cutting out, David. Sorry. Yep. Can you hear me? No. Mm -hmm. yes. yep. Okay. Um, I'm going to fly 60 feet uh, towards the east, so kind of there. That's my movement. And then action is going to be to delay. I'm going to delay my to use my reaction when um, Lucin hits Echinacea. Okay. All right. Uh, Lucian is up. He looks upward. Uh, we're gonna keen sense here. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna one last thing. I'm gonna bonus action and just give Lucian and my HP. Gonna give him what? Some temp HP with Vay gift. Ooh. Oh, okay. How much? One d six plus four. So that's gonna be uh, d six. It's gonna be a two plus four, so six temp HP to Lucian. Got it. Understood. Um, uh, oh, perception check. Jesus Christ. Uh, Echinacea, give me a stealth with advantage. Ew. 23. Yeah, it, he rolled a 9 plus 1 for a 10, so that fails. He sees... He does see um, Kalen... And he is going to... <laughs> He's going to cast Disarm. Damn, no! Um, no! So He's just Kaelin? Against Kaelin, yeah. Smells oh. Kaelin, I think, is yeah. the okay. sense. Yep. Uh, unfortunately... Unfortunately, the attack roll misses. And so uh, Kaelin holds on to true seeker and lucian has wasted a spell slot oh no uh and then he and then he's going to no he can't do anything else uh he is gonna move which echinacea this will provoke an attack of opportunity they're not dumb uh-uh just you know wanted to check he's gonna move right here um all right and then it's kaylin's turn kaylin uh echinacea kaylin uh, Kaylin is going to kind of shout outwardly 
Do you want to move? Or are you happy where you are? Uh, but, uh, do... I believe in you. <laughs> can I... Can I perception... Absolutely. Where Echinacea called from? Yep. Oh, I'm probably just passive perception. It's not my turn. I do passive perception, yeah. What's your yeah, passive? Yeah, 11. We'll stick with that roll you made before for Lucian. Echinacea is still hidden. Um, I can make a new one since I yelled. Go for it. I think it makes sense to keep. Okay, I, I just want to be. Route. I just want to be fair to you. Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. Whistle. It's me. I need a dexterity saving throw from you, please. Another one. Jeez. Another one. Give me a con or a strength, please. <laughs> Aren't you good at dex? Good. You're really good um, at dex. Especially not when I keep rolling threes. Um, I'm going to use Indomitable. You succeed? No. Oh, just I gotta, roll. I gotta roll it, Phil. Still. Nope. Oh, wait, maybe. 23. Yeah! 23 is a success. Lunar Array fails. Um, so you take... Uh... Yeah, no, you don't take anything here. Yes. Save or suck. Save or what's suck. A, what's the lunar array look like? This is the first time I'm using Indomitable. Um, lunar array, uh, you see the uh, constellation of a uh, a bright moon fade into this dark void, which is that of a new moon. Mm. What does Indomitable look like? Yeah, I think like as the light kind of hits whistle and it's trying to it's about to kind of do the damage to him or no this is a dodge i guess um he probably feels it coming in and as it as it's about to kind of make contact with him the the hair on his arms and his neck and everything just kind of stand up and i think they're kind of they're, they're catching the light because they're a little bit metallic now um as he's in the fight with that kind of with the living armor um, I think it kind of disrupts him kind of the way like a cat's whiskers will let him know something's too close and he's just going to kind of quickly pull out of the way. Okay. As he, as he chooses to just succeed instead of fail. Sounds good. <laughs> the last second. Um, all right. Kalen is just going to use his movement to land. And Aganesha, you're up. Okay. Da, 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 da. Sorry, I should have measured this earlier. I didn't. Um, and I, Whistle, you can tell Echinacea is not generally this aggressive, um, but I think you can tell that they are very much trying to be, um, a la their previous discussion. Um, so they are going to... No one could see it, um, but again, their fingertips turn black as they twin spell uh, Guiding Bolt, one at Lucy and one at um, Whistle. All right. Uh, Lucian, it's a 27 to hit. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit either way. Whistle, it's a 19, so I think that misses you. It misses. Okay. The animated shield just comes up and... <laughs> Um, that is 13 damage to, uh, Lucian and advantage to the next attack on him. Okay. Understood. Anything else? Oh man. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Oh geez. Um, they're going to move, uh, 30 feet. So they end up here. That's, uh, yeah, that's going to be, oh no, they're going to throw another weaves men. They're going to throw a Weaves Mend on themselves. Okay, sounds good. And that's their turn. Alrighty. Whistle, you're up. Okay. Uh, you uh, see... Bon yep, go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, nope, you just... Else. You see Kalen on the ground. Echinacea is still hidden from you. Um, Kalen's still invisible. Oh, that's right. It was just because of the dome. So you didn't see anybody. I don't see anybody. Just Lucian and I are fighting the wind that's just shooting spells at us. Um, Whistle's going to first use a bonus action to recall Nikolai to his hand. Um, and he's going to say, 
Come on, Nick. I'll help you <laughs> now. I'll help you now. Um, and he's just gonna kind of throw it out into space. <laughs> Give me a fucking throw. attack roll with disadvantage. Uh, but it's advantage if you start it at echination. So even. Okay, even roll. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be this. That's minus five, so twenty-two. Mm, minus five for what? Uh, minus oh, uh, the shooter? sharpshooter. Got it. Um, feels really dickish, but I am gonna cast shield. <laughs> Although I think that would show that I was there because the, um, like you throw the dagger, it strikes true, and then you just see bang, and it goes in the completely David, like opposite direction before you recall it. Have you been using two attacks? I did the, the, yeah, first attack was with Nikolai, then the second attack was with the axe, and then I flew. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, well, second attack is going for that <laughs> spot where the shield was. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this will, this will be an advantage, as I will say, you, you have that confidence in you that Echinacea is there. Natural one. For a 19, which won't break, won't hit the shield. That will hit. That does hit. No, you have oh, shield wait. up until the oh, yeah, shield up for the next round. Oh, yeah. I'm an idiot. Huh? I know how magic works. Idiot. Um, yeah. So, um, he's going to uh, just yell. Uh, where as the blades are kind of hitting, he doesn't really expect to kind of hit with the with the shield up. He's going to kind of as they're kind of bouncing back and forth. Nikolai's going to. Uh, he's going to say, "Lucian, there." Understood. And it is sure. Lu- it is Lucian's turn. Uh, Ganesha, I need a strength saving throw. I'm bad at those. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen is a failure. You see, as um, at the bottom of Lucian's rapier, he flips the blade in his hand so that it is reverse gripped and he juts it forward as you see the uh the stone at the bottom of the pommel cracks open this arcing electric energy juts out and it slams into your waist your shoulder not piercing you but wrapping around you as he pulls you inward towards him <laughs> and you're going to take Oh, this is a lightning lure, huh? Uh, you're going to take seven points of uh, lightning damage, and he is going to use um, Arcane Assassin and apply sneak attack damage to this. Because I made this rogue subclass. I forget that sometimes. Um, very cool. 11. Twenty lightning damage, in addition okay. to so twenty-seven total. So I'm gonna make that con save for the invisibility. Twenty-one. Uh, yeah, that's a su- that's a success. Um, you just hear Lucian as he says. Actually, hang on, I'm oh. gonna port and dress that up. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna throw a fifteen for that. Stuff that out for I'm so sorry. It's identical. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. It's, That's a risk uh, for the biscuit. Uh, Echinacea, you just <laughs> hear as uh, Lucian's like, there you are, good doctor. Got my eye on my target. I'm proud of you. Thank All right. You. Um, and Lucian is right there. And he is going to... Let's see. <laughs> he is going to bonus action and cast hex on you as well echinacea what do i do um you need to no no this this just happens yeah um uh so on intelligence checks you have disadvantage all right i'll have to make sure enough well they Wait. actually they don't know that yeah you choose alec what do yep. they have disadvantage on right yep Constitution. Oh yeah, no, I'll do Constitution actually. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, but whistle is like mage. You, mage. You, you, <laughs> you you do see whistle uh, as a 
as a like inky black rose forms above Echinacea's head. There they are. Perfect. All right. Um, <laughs> and now it is Kalen's turn. Oh, uh, God. Okay. Kalen. Damn, he's going to do it. Uh, Kalen's going to move over. And he is going to bonk Lucian. No! <laughs> he, says, he says, I'm sorry. Um, you see as from the crescent moon at the bottom, his blade begins to coat in ice as Kalen is smiting for the first time. Casting Chilling Smite. Uh, you see as his gauntlets begin to coat with this spiked ice, uh, very akin to, like, um, Armor of Agathis. Uh, you see as it runs up his arms, the blade sort of extends a bit in this glacial mass uh, as as he takes a swing at Lucian. Um, where is... I remember Lucian was hurt, right? Lucian's, Lucian's pretty hurt. Uh, I'm, I'm swapping wording transposition. Wording transposition. Ooh. Uh, so, okay. Oh wait, no fuck. Because I'm sixty feet up. I'm out of range. Yeah, you're out of range. Oh no. Okay. Um. So he casts chilling smite at second level, and the attack is a natural one. Bam. Shit. Uh, the attack slams. Uh, Lucy just ducks out of the way. He's like, no, absolutely fucking lutely not. I've been smited before. I will not be smited again. <laughs> oh, no, he had that fight with Sir. <laughs> oh, no. He had that fight with Sir and those fights with Ileana. Yes. Hey. Um, and then he... Wow, Kalen sucks. Um, Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank fuck. Echinacea, you're hurting a bit? No. Oh, uh, well. No one can find them. Uh, he's going <laughs> to he's gonna cast Shield of Faith on you, Echinacea. <gasps> wow. Um, you see as this Shield of Faith manifests as a full Is he moon. able to? Because I'm invisible? He uh, yeah, I, I like to flavor invisibility that the people who've cast it can see who cast it and who they've cast it on. You can kind of see each other. Yeah. You know, Understood. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, and he already lost concentration on Zephyr Strike, uh, so he's not, you know, doubling up on that economy. But you feel as this the same bright sensation when you were in the Chapel of Aelfin earlier today goes on your head as a, a full moon constellation sparks and your AC is bumped by two. Um, okay. Thank you. I'm always your shield. All right. And Echinacea, it is your turn. Echinacea takes a step here and they say, well, then I will have to be your sword and no one can see you... it, but they pull out second thought, the dagger, and they line up the shot and they grab <laughs> and hold again. I need a whistle. Keep playing connect four. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Jesus Christ. Wait, it's another deck save, isn't it? Guiding bolt yeah. or lightning bolt? Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Jesus, Lightning that'll do it. Lose it now! Uh, yeah, let me roll that in D&D Beyond. Lose it! Lose it now! <laughs> not lethal. All this is not lethal. I feel like we don't have oh. to save, but I'm just Lucian, pointing it out. Lucian rolled a 25. <laughs> what a canon twist. <laughs> <laughs> this fight is canon, so that would be crazy if this was... Uh, um, uh, 13, I'm, I failed. Get shit on. Okay. Uh, Whistle, you take 33 points of lightning damage, and then um, Lucian takes... Lucian half. takes none because of evasion. None. You take none of it. He he also... He does the same thing he did with with uh, Kalen, but like his... Uh, much like Whistle was before, like the hair on the back of his neck stands up, and he just slams his head down into the snow to dodge <laughs> the lightning bolt, and he comes... Like with an just, ostrich. Yeah, exactly. And he comes with just... Blah! Incredible. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I think I think that whole little move totally distracts Whistle. He's like, "What are you?" <laughs> Gets shot right in the middle of the chest. I was dodging that. <laughs> I see now. Get going. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Don't apologize. Bloody. 
All right. Uh, anything um, else, Second Nation? Does Kalen look hurt? No, Kalen's fine. He's at full. He's, he's Kalen full? Is like, no, one's, full? no one's touching. We can't see anybody. I'm, listen, it'll be really great when we're all on the same yeah. team again. When, the, when this is all, uh, don't worry. I'm right there with you. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, then that's my turn. Whistle, you're up. Okay. Um, Whistle is going to... Kind of remembering where, like, Whistle's been watching Lucian kind of do the dodge. Um, kind of going off that, would I be able to... Well, I guess I can't target uh, Kaylin with a spell, right? Uh, you cannot, because you cannot see him. Can't see him, okay. Then uh, I'm going to take my attacks at Echinacea. Or he thinks Echinacea. So I think the first one, flat roll, second one, advantage? Yes. So we did it last time? Okay. If, yeah, if the first one hits. Yeah. Uh. Oh. oh, no. Uh, that's a 22. Uh. It, it, yeah. Yeah, because um, it's been your turn, so shield is gone. Uh, silvery barbs from Kalen. You bastard. Okay, so roll again. All right. 29. Uh, minus 5 for a 24. Do, oh my god, do I be do I be Echinacea is trying to get better. Do I be do tactical? What, do what, what you, you gotta do. They would yeah. do to be better. They, would do. they cast shield and it misses. But how, it, my, how much? It's the same I, thing. Um, by one. It uh, okay. jumps up to 25. Sorry, right, that, that was wrong of me. I shouldn't ask. No, you're, no, 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 no. Fine. No, you be tactical. Do the okay. thing. Because if that's the thing, then Whistle is going to go for Fortune of Many, counting his one ally of Lucian to bump it up to 25. To Perfect. All right. Hits. Okay. Uh, adding a Metallurgy dice on this, it's going to be the uh, Pave the Way. All right. So, let's go. Hang on, let me just spin that. That's a 5d8 right now. Okay. So that is going to be... Uh, my number dyslexia, I just realized that Echinacea was not at full. I'm just at 74 and 47. I just, I, my brain You're can't You're at 47? Do yeah. <laughs> there, it's the same two numbers. My brain uh, no, is understand. bad. No, I understand. I just, just the, whole, the whole last <laughs> turn would have been completely different. <laughs> no, it's it's my bad for, I, I don't know what the word for number dyslexia is, but it's a bitch. I think it's still dyslexia. Sorry. No, it's, it's second good. Here, I just gotta get some math dice. Figured out. You're fine. This calcul. This cal Well, there's the dyslexia. No, it looks funny. What? Wow, that was a it's shit roll. It's like Dracula. Don't worry, Echinacea. That was a really shit roll. Um, okay. Okay. That's going to be. I want to make sure Pave the Way doesn't have a saving throw for you or anything. No. Um, okay, no saving throw for Pave the Way. All right, so it's going to be 35 uh, damage to you, Echinacea. On the first attack. Um, and then second attack, going to go again, this time at advantage, knowing... 14 and a, a and a nine. 14 and a nine. Hit to hit you? Missed. No. <laughs> oh man. So yeah. The first attack goes in, catches you, and then he's gonna kind of pull, but you're still invisible, and I think it just kind of goes. Oh, I, I might not be. One sec. That was 35. 21. I uh, know that I'm still fine. Okay. Um I'm going to take the chance he's got right now. Action surge. Going in again. And two. That's a 13. First attack. And a 10. Jesus Christ. All right. Last attack. Oh, my God. That's a natural one. And uh, 15. Oh, my God. Your dice no. are being... He's, this is just... 
missing everything. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's that. That's his turn. Oh, uh, wait. Hang on. Bonus action, second win. <laughs> Damn, dude. Whistle. Let's just get these out now and save the good ones for Saiba Home. That's a one on the D10. That's so mean. Why, dice gods? What have I done to deserve this? Ten healing. Um, okay. All right, that's my turn. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to get within 30 feet of um, flying up. I'm just going to get within 30 feet of Lucian. Lucian is going to be tackled. His advantage. On. Yep. Because it pays away. He's going to go for Echinacea. That is a 19 on the die. Or a 19 total. And this is... And then this is a... Advantage? Wait. Yeah, advantage. That's two 19s. Uh, he misses, unfortunately. He pierces forward, but the attack misses. Um, okay. It's Kaelin's turn. Kaelin is going to move here. And Echinacea, he is going to cast Cure Wounds at fourth level. He says, I'm right here. You're going to be fine. You're doing great. Uh, Jesus. You heal uh, 29 hit points. Oh my goodness. Thank you. You're welcome. I feel a little better. I'm feeling a lot better. Good. <laughs> Good. All right. Um, and then he is going to... No, can't do that. Can't do that. Oh. Did you save for invisibility? I did roll it, yeah. At disadvantage. Wait, did I get... Hex. I didn't roll at disadvantage. Wait, I don't know if Hex is disadvantage or is it a minus, like a d4? Hex is dis uh, disadvantage on a constitution check. I rolled better on this second one. Damn, okay. Well... Yeah. We tried. All right. Um, that is the entirety of Kalen's turn. Uh, so, Echinacea, you are up. Do you okay. still Do you still have the moat on your dome? I do still have the moat on my dome. Thank you for reminding me. I will uh, use that. Whatever I roll here, plus seven. Here's your dice. Bad. Oh, uh, 11 Christ. plus seven, math, 18. It's a bad knife for dice roll. The, uh, yeah. Um, they're going to bonus action fabled healer. Mm -hmm. They're going to use... Uh, fuck it. They're going to use four of them. Damn. <laughs> Three, four. Listen, they're doing their best. All right. There. Doing this and then four temp HP. I rolled <gasps> three sixes. That's, wow. Yeah, that's where the good rolls were. Fuck it up. Woo. Okay. Um, and then for my action. That was your bonus action. <laughs> it's the same as... um. The uh, dream druid. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, David. No, you're good. Um, they're going to... Yeah, I think they're going to guiding bolt whistle. All right. Yeah, don't right click. There we go. Does a 25 hit? Silvery barbs from Lucian. All right. Does a better hit? Uh, Fuck. Better. 33. Yeah, that hits. Damn. That's a hit. It's not great. Uh, you take 11 damage, but the next person to attack Whistle does have advantage. Thank God for my 10. <laughs> uh, uh, second win. <laughs> All right. It, and it. I don't think they're moving. Okay. That's their turn. It's Lucian's turn. He turns around. Um, Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going way worse than I thought it was going to go. <laughs> Fine. All right. Get permission to be mean? Teach me. All right. All right. All right. He... <laughs> Um, he casts Chill Touch on you, Echinacea. But the roll is going to be a disadvantage because he can't fucking see you. He 
He doesn't know you haven't moved. 24 with disadvantage. <laughs> they're cocky. They're doing the math. No, I'm not going to shield. I'm going to... The other one. Uh, defensive dome. Okay, you defensive dome yourself. Got it. Yeah. Um, so the dome eats... I still can't heal. Because that takes effect. Nine points of damage. Um, okay. And he will arcane assassin again just to chip away at the dome. Arcane Assassin's a great ability. I didn't use it at all in any of the fights Lucian was in before. That's probably why <laughs> I won those that arena, I he, imagine. He, he didn't have it at that point. Oh, okay. He's baby. 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 14. Uh, 17 points of... Uh, it would also be necrotic damage. Alrighty. I, I don't think that matters for the dome. No. Uh... All right, that is Lucian's turn. Kaylin, sort of, are you okay? I am healthy and hale. Good. He's not going to be. <laughs> he still has <laughs> his. He still has his chilling smite up as he bashes down toward Lucian. Uh, we're gonna roll. He had. He. You know what? He's gonna move here. <laughs> so he has flanking. He's flanking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. Good night, sweet prince. Nice lights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Uh, Kalen rolls <laughs> 28. <laughs> There's no way in hell that shield... Uh, Kalen under his breath just says, For what it's worth, I am sorry. <laughs> and he bashes down <laughs> on, on Lucian. Can Echinacea, like, catch him and just, like, uh, we'll see. lower we'll him to the ground? We'll see what he gets when uh, when he goes unconscious. Or if he goes unconscious, because he casts that at second level. I thought you said he dropped. I misunderstood. No, he dropped his sword. Uh, so uh, oh. Lucene is going to take 18 points of damage, and uh, <laughs> his speed is reduced by 5 feet, <laughs> which... Oh, wow. His speed is 45 feet now. <laughs> dude, dude has a 50, 50 movement speed. Um, but uh, you see as the sword slams, uh, these icicles sort of shoot through Lucian's feet and ankles as it just sort of locks him in place. And he's like, ow! Ooh. That looks painful. Fuck off. Why? <laughs> well, uh, I thought it would be funny. And this was... <laughs> Kalen. Sorry. He's tell me he would not do the same to me. No, he would. Okay, let me have this. <laughs> Echinacea, it's your turn. <laughs> so mean. Okay. Man. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I need I need Lucian to make a con save. <laughs> As <laughs> oh, Echinacea I, I have to, <laughs> lifts their hand. Hmm? I, uh, you reminded me that I have to. Uh, Hex is gone. Yeah. Hex is gone. And but I will say. His con save, you said? Yeah, but while they're doing this, it does mean um, that they will drop um, invisibility. greater invisibility, which frankly hasn't been doing them. Like, the, because of the way advantages been working here it's not doing them the greatest bit any way but i think they just kind of in the moment are they remember that he's a shapeshifter <laughs> and they don't want him oh, to turn shit. into a werewolf or a werebat right now so they cast a moonbeam as they pluck a star out of the sky and drop it onto his head well so he has a disadvantage uh which makes that a 16 that fails <laughs> he looks up Really? It's not that bad. <laughs> you only For take six you. radiant. <laughs> six radiant? The moonbeam. You can yeah. see the moonbeam. Hang on. Like it, oh. That's the one I'm going to warning. Transposition. Okay. I'm with Trading places? Trading places. Yeah. You're in the air, correct? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll take. It's first 10 free, so 2d6. 
Uh, yeah. He's a bat. He's, he, I figured yeah, he'd be a... It's not his turn. He can't put his fucking wings out. It's okay. He's, he's a, a rogue. He, he, he can... But, he can and, no. He can't. He, he can rogue. <laughs> We're oh figuring this out God. not at Saiba Holm. It's good. 12. It's good. He takes uh, fucking I, max I damage on 2d6. It's better than being werewolfed. It, listen. D were badified. He... Jesus fucking Christ. Lucian is looking really bad. Um, bad. so Whistle, make that con save. Con I can do. Con. Come on, dice. Come on, dice. I'm owed. There we go. That's a 20. Uh, I'm not sure about Echinacea's DC, so I'm going to bump it up to a 20. Bump it up to 21, then you yep. save. So you take <laughs> half. So you take three radiant damage. Oh. <laughs> so uh, Whistle very expertly tanks this damage while <laughs> Lucina's has plopped 30 feet like hell yeah <laughs> as he slams into the ground and is just uh, sorry about your knees <laughs> it's my back no oh. alright okay. he sits up I like think... Freddy Krueger you know or like Jason Voorhees where it's like <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, anything else on your turn, Echinacea? <laughs> oh! Um, they look up at Whistle and they go, That was very cool. And they put weaves, their last weaves mend on their head <laughs> as they <laughs> anticipate this damage. Uh, you hear in your mind at this moment, Echinacea, you, you don't even need me. Are you kidding? You're the reason that both me and Kaylin were invisible. I just mean my teeth. <laughs> Listen, you might be coming out soon. Good. Okay. I've wanted to bite Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Be nice. Well, I experienced your memories of him in Iotha Lauren. While I can register that he's changing, man, he needed to be punished for being a prick. People don't need to be punished for being... No, 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 I don't like that. All right. I just think it would be funny. Look, he's already having a hard time. He's having a really hard time. I that's just... their turn? Yeah, that's their turn. All right. Uh, Whistle, you're up. Okay. Um, so it's going to uh, find himself kind of between both of these people. Um, and... Kalen's got his big, nasty sword that's glowing with ice. Uh, the ice is absolutely faded at this point, but um, is just a normal, cool sword now. Okay. Well, it's going to get red hot as Whistle casts heat metal on his sword. <sighs> All right. And he he takes the fire damage, correct? Uh, I think he can make a constitution saving throw to drop the object and avoid it if you want. Oh, yeah. Um, that is a... Uh... 21. 21? What is my DC? Um... I... I oh, 15. He drops out. He's like... <sighs> Uh, okay, so yeah, he avoids the damage. But yeah, but the sword is on the ground now. The sword is on the ground now. Okay. Um, oh, wait, David, you at the beginning of your turn. Mm. Roll oh, a oh, yeah. um, con save. Constitution saving throw. <gasps> oh, That's wow. a 25. Okay, you take half of 19, so 9 radiant. Whistle's really hurt. Um, and this is the first time he's cast a spell, so he's going to see the sword in uh, Kaelin's hand and he's going to whisper to it and he's going to just quietly under his breath just whisper Burn. just instinctually um, kind of going in through some of the Divanthier's tomes, just kind of like flitting through his mind. Um, that's what he calls out to the sword. All right. Out to Truth Seeker. Um, that's action. Bonus action is going to be then to uh, give himself another, give himself and Kaylin another 
temp HP bump. Lucian? Just it. Lucian, sorry. No, I'm going to give this one to Kaelin. Um, <laughs> no, Lucian. <laughs> um, so 1d6. Uh, Kaelin counter spells. Oh, it's not a spell. It's not a spell. I was being an asshole. Oh. Um, nine, ten pitch points. He doesn't have counter spell prep right now, anyway. Uh, so okay, that so was that very was, cool. How many? Uh, nine. Ten pitch points. Okay. Um, he's, thank you. Let's see how long this lasts. As he's kind of like just preparing now, defensive stance. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna move. Uh, that's where he's at. Lucian uses five feet of his movement to get up. <clears throat> you know what? Fuck this. What? Goes up to Kaylin and casts Vortex Warp. Rude. Um, Kaylin needs to make a constitution saving throw. She fails by one. Kaylin rolls a 19. You. Kaylin does not fail. You see as uh, Lucian begins to grab uh, Echinacea, what is this? What does this portent look like? How do you flavor this? I truly think uh, they just slap his wrist. Or how far away are they? Uh, they throw, they just chuck something, like some you... <laughs> thing from their belt. No. <laughs> a vial just hits Lucian in the temple. And he's just, <laughs> Roll me a d4. No, yes. no, it's not damage. Uh, uh, all right. I, I just flavored the portent. I don't want to. I want to be fair. That, I think getting hit with an object does deal damage, but sh go off. Uh, okay, so that fails. Uh, it, that is Lucian's turn. Kalen is up. Wait, he can. He can. Disin no, I guess he can't move. He, he. Does he have any more movement? He has a ton of movement. He has a ton of movement. He could bonus action disengage, but he also wants to try and whittle away. Okay. He'll he'll bonus action disengage. And then For the he'll, flank, Lucy. He'll move <laughs> here. Thank you. Yep. Uh, I am not as intelligent as you both are, so <laughs> here we are. Um, now it's a chain. Okay. Oh, yes. Give me the lightning bolt. Go on, button. <laughs> it is Kalen's turn. This could be good. <laughs> Kaylin's gonna cast sleep. <laughs> fair, fair. Damn. Uh, Throws me back to so what's, Noah. What's the HP total, yeah? So, uh, he's casting it at second level. And so this is going to be 78. I'm going to roll this in D&D Beyond. 78. It starts with the lowest ones first. <laughs> 32. Mm -hmm. um, Kalen, or Lucian, is asleep. Because <laughs> he has 21 hit points. <laughs> Lucian, wake up, damn it. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no! He's a knight. <laughs> you, <laughs> you guys see? <laughs> I'm gonna put the clock for bedtime. Uh, you see as uh, Kalen turns around, and both of you see this as he turns and puts his hand upward. Uh, you see as two stars form at the tip of his fingers and just poke Lucien in the forehead. As Lucien just goes, <laughs> I'm gonna. Lucian is out of the initiative order. He's baby. He is asleep. 
okay. curled up on the floor. He's he's slumped. <laughs> Echinacea, it is your turn. Okay. Um This is looking pretty rough. Yeah, he's looking pretty rough. Yeah. Pretty rough. <laughs> Not looking good. Okay, you don't have to tell me. Yeah. Um He's taking a few lightning bolts to the to the him. To the <laughs> To the balls. To the him. Yeah. Um Was that? Okay, perfect. Sorry, I was reading something. Um, Echinacea casts fire shield <laughs> on themselves. Okay. All so right. now, whenever a creature within five feet of me hits me with a melee attack, me. he takes 2d8 fire damage. That's me. That's you. All right. Um, they're casting that, and then... Um, and I don't think it is. You know what? Yeah. Uh, they say, okay. Okay, Aedwolf, come out and play. And they <gasps> summon Aedwolf. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, <laughs> whistle. You see is from Echinacea's shoulder a large shadowed wolf uh, is summoned and lands directly next to you. I whistle. As, the, as he pops out, whistles kind of like, just like, doesn't even look at him. He's just kind of like, oh. All right. Um, it's a bad spot to be in. It's a very bad spot to be in. The bad spot to be in. I'm hunting for my token. Sorry. You're good. Um, I'm gonna. Do you mind if oh. I go ahead and roll the multi attack? Yeah, please, 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 please. Okay. Uh, we're adding five to this. Oh, go do it. Do my bidding. Do my bidding. Um, does a math seventeen plus five is twenty two. Does a twenty two hit? Uh, it would, but Whistle's going to shield. So, uh, the animated shield kind of spins around towards, and in the gothic kind of section, uh, the shield just kind of expands outwards suddenly because it's a flower shield. It's going to go to turning into kind of like a giant sunflower. It just kind of protect, like shields him in front. So it's kind of like a gothic pattern in the middle, then coming, coming up to metallic sunflower petals. Whistle. He's terrified. <laughs> I, I know we're fighting, but this is so beautiful. It's the wizard in Echinacea. They are like <laughs> out of the fight and into the magic. Incredible. Um, all right. And then he's going to make his claw attack. What am I adding? It. Five. That misses. And then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The. Oh, Jesus no. Christ, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's hungry. Oh, my puppy. He's a little boy. He's big. He's a large creature, it's a correct? Boy. You're right, yeah, I yeah. forgot. I'm going to zoom um, in on his face. Holy oh, yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a loop guru from the Van Richten yeah. Guide to Ravenloft. Oh, yeah. so fu such a fucking cool monster. I can't wait to run it for you guys. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, well... Uh. It, that's that's just oh no um yes. Three, was it? bonus action aid wolf will shadow blend and go invisible okay. that's aid wolf's turn Not another one. <laughs> all right um <laughs> whistle you're up with kalen on deck okay uh disengage for action <laughs> <laughs> you know what and so fly 60 feet up okay uh and then uh Double check. I know I still have my full 9, 10 HP. Uh, bonus action, actually, before I fly up, will be passage. Uh, so it's a third fade gift to give myself an extra 10 feet, 70 feet up. Incredible. Okay. 70 feet straight in the air. Sounds good. Fuck this. <sighs> the, the, uh, sunflower spins around. Okay. Kaelin smiles, looks at Echinacea. I'm going to take a page out of your book. Uh, you see as he leans forward, um, he plucks the star from your forehead. Um, 
uh, since you have fire shield up, the uh, concentration for uh, shield of faith goes down. You see as he takes... Oh, I see. Shield of faith, yes. Um, Fire shield is good. You see as he takes it, uh, he's looking at you directly in the eyes, Echinacea, as he kisses it and then throws it up in the air as he casts Moonbeam at third level on... Uh, oh, wait, I should... I need to take one from Echinacea's Moonbeam. Too. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, you get it. It was a con save? So two con yeah. saves, one for two, two each Moonbeam? Yep. Okay, and this one... Yeah. Uh, it was a 14 against Echinacea's, and that is a 19 against uh, Kalen's. Uh, succeeds on Kalen, so you'll take half, which is... Let me do Echinaceous first. Cause yeah. It might, yeah. Okay. Um, you fail mine, so it, you take 10 Radiant. Okay. Yeah, that's my, that's my 10th HP gone. And then um, uh, he rolled 14, so you'll take 7 Radiant from Caitlyn's. Oof! He's hurting. Um, and uh, he will do nothing else, because he's feeling very happy with himself. Uh, Echinacea, you're up. Okay. Um... He's just getting whacked you're by moonbeams as he's in midair. <laughs> you're 70 feet up? 70 feet up. Yeah, it's, really a lot, it's a lot of feet. Okay. You, is this what I do. think it is? Yeah, I know what this it's is. It's not enough feet. I need you to make another dexterity saving throw as lightning bolt is 100 feet. Huh? Line. Huh? Okay, okay. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Huh? I'm sorry. Oh, okay, hang on. Uh, that's a 24. Okay, that's saved. So you take half of 31, 15. Still in it. Really hurt, but still in it. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 hit points. Be nice to him. Three! <laughs> oh, no! Just three. Yeah, <laughs> just three. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, it's my turn. Whistle. <laughs> You're up. <laughs> if you got a gambit, now's your time. Okay. Um, still, but... Okay, yeah, no, my best move here is to just take shots at Echinacea. Um, I'm going to take two attacks at Echinacea. Nope. That's action, so that's what I want. Okay. First attack. At a... I'm really uh-huh. sorry. Okay. You need to make a con save. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Um, probably you first attack. Actually, con move saves. out of those. Yeah, move yeah. out of those moonbeams. <laughs> Real quick. Oh yeah, actually, I'm gonna go down anyway. That's 25 on the first one. So okay. we'll say that's Echinacea's. Make a second. 11 one. against uh, Kalen. That is a failure. So you're gonna take that 3d10. Yeah. You save on me, so you take half of 11 for five. And you that's take it. all of it. Uh, the Echinacea's. Yeah, so, well, hang on, guys, because that's down from Echinacea. It, it, no, everybody's non-lethal. Doing, everybody, everybody's, everybody's doing no. everybody's doing non-lethal. And then gravity. Every Bad their fault. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh all right. Thank you, Echinacea. <laughs> you I think with whistle falls and just a flirt of feathers, yeah. So if I can if I can flavor here, whistle gently falls down directly next to Lucian, who is <laughs> asleep. Both of them for a moment just. <laughs> Adolf is like, I didn't really get to bite anybody, but that's okay. This was really fun to watch. <laughs> Next time, buddy. Wait a minute, the flower. Um, I will say, Adolf does step forward and start like like a dog nudging you both awake. Um. <laughs> Kalen moves over next to Echinacea and just throws his arm around them. That was quite good. I feel... I feel pretty good. You feel good? Feel... Mm-hmm. Good. I need to use that disarm spell. That Lucian used. That was spell. smart. It's a good spell. I need to fly! I have flying boots! Whistle's so smart. Hey. We learned a lot. You know what? You know what we learned? What? You're more prepared than you think you are. 
that's very nice. And they're going to go heal. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. You, you, they whistle. You are conscious first. Uh, it's so we'll let, we'll do a little, little like finishing up RP here and then we'll end up. Are you all right? The snow out of his hair. Uh, yes. Well, thought. Ooh, um, well, thank you. Um, can I take, can I take care of you? Please. <laughs> oh. mm. All right. Uh, I would love right. nothing more. However, right. you can. <laughs> um, they rolled a 32 on their medicine check, so that is... 2d8 Hell plus... of a medicine check. 2d8 plus your spellcasting modifier. Um, yeah. Uh, da -da -da -da. Or plus double my proficiency bonus. Oh, uh, correct. Is that the same thing? Am I dumb? No, no, you, it's different and you are correct. Uh, 7 plus 8. Um, and then they will heal. I, we're in the same day. They're gonna heal you um, with cure wounds at fourth level. For what a bad roll. Uh, twenty four. I'll take it. So that's that was fifteen plus twenty four, or 20? I already forgot the first number. Uh, there was a nine. There was an eight plus seven. Something. Yes. Oh my god, I forget. I'm really sorry. Just just fucking, you know, whatever makes sense. Just throw a number. We'll say eight. Okay. Plus 24. Um, well, you cast some impressive magic. Yeah, he's gonna look at his hands. He's like, I'm not really sure where that came from. I mean... From you. If do magic. What was that? I've never really been able to do magic like that before. Hmm. That was Maybe it wasn't encouraged. I just remember reaching out, and there it was. He's gonna look over at the sleeping Lucian. <laughs> Lucian's not unconscious, just sleeping. He's fucking passed out. He's gonna kind of shake him. Hey, wake up. No. Lost. I don't know. No. <laughs> what? Do you want to stay here or go to your bed? Uh, uh, he gets up. Wait, I can carry mm. you. Give me ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he plops and they back cast, on the ground. And they cast floating disc for him to sit, oh. lay on. <laughs> can I tell you something? <clears throat> Always. Well, I thought it was going to be a lot longer before you paid me back for that. But... <laughs> Here we are. Thank you. Need you back for what? Carrying you. They spin the, uh, slowly spin it, uh, <laughs> <laughs> slowly, they slowly spin the floating disc so that they're looking at Lucian, uh, face to face. One day. I'll be strong enough to just do it on my own. <laughs> Maybe. That'll be a good day. Yeah, I believe you. But so you're not half bad. I would say the same to you. I'm shit, but we tried. We did pretty well. Uh, well... We learned that we're much more capable than we thought, as a unit. Which is good to know moving into Cyberholm. Mm. And I know it's going to be even better with Zio and the Zuli and all of the others. Whistle's gonna, um, 
just uh, pick up Truth Seeker out of the snow and pass it over uh, to Kaelin. That's quite a blade. <laughs> Looks over at Echinacea. Well, I was told that there's a power in the making of a myth. And very much was proved tonight. You hear that same song uh, that's sort of like almost uh, like a high note on a violin as it enters its sheath. Mm. Mm. It is quite the good blade. Well, I'm going to make late dinner because it's late and, well, frankly, we kicked your asses. So I want to... uh, do what I can to make you feel better. I am a healer first. <laughs> I appreciate that. Of course. Shall we? We shall. Right. You guys... Thank you for this. You were great. I... Next time? Next time? Someone has to have a gun. I think I can manage that. <laughs> this was like, I think I can. I think I can. I think <laughs> I can. And then, oh god, the psychic damage of making Nikolai a gun. I think yeah. If maybe Nikolai. Oh! Maybe Nikolai doesn't want to do that. <laughs> Nikolai doesn't want to be a gun. That's fair. We'll see what happens next time on Dragon <laughs> Ball Z. But you guys, <laughs> you guys return to Ishor's castle, um, and you settle in for the night. And that's what we're gonna call this little this little spar match. Yee! Thank you guys for hanging out for the this impromptu uh, uh, game that breaks our break. <laughs> but uh, forty nine and a half session forty nine point <laughs> five. Interlude. Uh, let's go ahead and outro our players, starting with David. Hey guys, uh, thanks for hanging out. My name is David. Uh, I've been playing Whistle, both he, him pronouns. You can catch me over at Stealthy Elf Productions, playing some Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Um, check us out. We got a lot of cool people. I hear one of them is really fucking stupid. <laughs> it's hey, me. That's no way to talk about Nigel. I, uh, you knew exactly <laughs> where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> you, you make it look like faux self-deprecation, but I'm actually attacking Nigel. Um, all right. Thank you, David. And Button. Hello, I'm Button. My pronouns are they, them. I'm Blue Blue Button on social media. Nigel is very smart. You can find me and him and Alec and David over on Stealthy Elf Productions. Uh, and yeah, next year, check out Astral Academy on Dice Cream Sandwich. I'm there, too. And check out Known Realms to Lesh on Sundays. Hell yeah, brother. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. My name is Alec. My pronouns are he, him. You can find me all places on the internet at Tales Archived. Uh, when I'm not archiving tales here at Tales Archived and No Realms to Lesh, you can find me over at Stealthy Elf Productions as Finn Reese and Heroes of Hysteria Unearthed Inheritance. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys after our break concludes. And uh, stay tuned for our raid. Bye. Goodbye.